Hello my friends, and welcome to Phantom Brigade. Another game with an incredibly loud intro music. So. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay. Seriously, every game has got the music on, like, full bore in the- well, not every game. There have been a couple that haven't, but they got the music blasting out full bore on the, uh, on the menus- on the, you know, first playthrough on the menu screen, they got the music just going full whack. It's like, I understand why, but I just- I don't- <laughs> even- even if I wasn't recording my gameplay, I don't want the music just blasting into my head from all directions, okay? I use headphones. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> okay, alright. Let's get started. Adjust difficulty. Ah, oh, it's one of these ones that doesn't have, like... Actual settings. Is this, is this more or less? Like, outgoing damage, would you want it to be less or more? It's actually hard for me to adjust the difficulty settings. I don't know, I'm gonna guess... If you turn that off, does that just mean you get no salvage whatsoever? Wait, what? Escalation decrease, escalation increase. Am I making it harder or easier? <laughs> Do these settings affect the enemy as well? I have no idea. I feel like... <clears throat> <clears throat> this may not even make the game more difficult, it may just make it more grindy. I don't really understand the difficulty settings to change them, but what I would say is probably... Taking extra damage and doing less damage is probably the main things that affect difficulty. And I'll just leave the rest, because I don't really understand it. If it were Battletech, increasing the amount of damage the enemies do and decreasing the amount of damage you do would be, like, the most difficult modifiers to deal with. So... Since I don't really understand the rest, I'm just going to leave it alone. See, this is where preset difficulties would be nice, right? Just give me a uh, easy, medium, and hard option to choose from. Discount Gundam! <coughs> it's Discount Gundam. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. We've lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower we have half a click north from here. Oh, we're measuring things in clicks. We're back in Nam, boys. Thank you. 
Hey, Lieutenant. They're still installing the prototype in my rig, so don't hog all the action till I catch up. Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Whoa. What happened here? <laughs> Probably just some damn rowdy civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail. Over. This is HQ. Negative, Commander. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig and we'll see what she's made of. Okay, this timeline displays your planned actions and predicts what every unit will do in the next five seconds. I'll move to scout one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm moving and flank the opposite side. War Games Maneuver? HQ, we have an unmarked non-cooperative tank at location 2SBR15. Confirm intent, over. HQ, confirm, over. Lieutenant, uh -oh. I'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core. Check your prototype. If that tank even twitches, cripple it. Finish the attack by clicking the targeted unit or its prediction. I see. Go. Good read on the tank. I'm hit, but just a scratch. What? I'm picking up multiple targets from the north. My god, this can't be right. Take cover! Take cover! Multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Go. Weapons ready. 
Treat us hostile. This is not a drill. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger, heading out. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? They do not read. Pinned down by two tracks. Returning fire. Got one. Shit, a walker. Lieutenant, get the... Commander? Commander! Taking defensive position. The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. You went down like a There's sack a of spuds. There's a walker multiple tracks <clears throat> on approach. Remember, if things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out, so they can't salvage our prototype. Whatever happens, let's meet at evac point R09. Okay, that is a lot of units. the range of my weapons. Optimal range 15 to 150 meters. Line of sight control this guy. Basically, I want to be behind the house here, and then this guy should be the only guy that has an angle. Set target unit. Secondary weapon.
close together, so. Okay, so in theory, these two should both have a perfect angle on this tank. I don't know how much damage it can take. Meanwhile, this guy will bait these three. Don't know if attacking removes the shield. question is, how much damage do these weapons do? I can see my armor. I can see his armor as well. I seemingly can't see what the weapons do. Okay, here we go. 3 to 11. He has 176 armor. does an obscene amount of damage, actually. They all do. <clears throat> Let's try this. Will they actually switch targets? Almost smoked. This worked exactly as I thought it would. In that, uh, none of the other units have got a shot. They're all LOS controlled. This guy is exposed. This is like BattleTech tactics. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Only this guy has a shot. Isolate and destroy. what I need to say. Okay. Okay.
I wish you could just, you know, fill your whole timeline with attacks. Right? I mean... So basically, I'm going to swing into the side here as this guy moves up. Okay, he's beam lancing that boy. Run action. Hmm. I guess I have to use weight. behind the lower building here. Looks like this guy is happily charging in. Apparently this unit's got a shotgun that is optimal at short distances. Okay, he's destroyed. Pilot deceased. I guess the red part is just the husk. Okay, and that one's dead as well. I've taken literally no no damage so far. <laughs> I'm pulling these guys apart. Okay. <clears throat> It looks like the old shotgunning did not occur as I expected. Some 
light harassment. <clears throat> I guess the shotgun's not very good once you slide away a little bit. That's fine because these two are... Uh, with a combination of LOS control and careful positioning, I've already picked off two vehicles. We should just carry on picking off his support. This one wants to take a shot. Doesn't look like any of these weapons generate much heat. Or I don't see the heat mechanics anywhere right now, so. beaming my own guys here. Let's move over here because I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these two units over here and come around from behind I think it's probably the best way to deal with the tank support. It's the dust, and I don't even think they've laid a single hit on me yet. Oh man, the droid took a huge amount of damage as well from the shotgun blast. I have actually taken some light graze damage. Okay, he 
he's gone that way. Stop from there. Let's just literally hound the guy. Okay. Alright, well it looks like the droid is actually the unit now that is most badly damaged. This is going to take me out of cover, but it's also going to put these guys in a, uh, in a terminal surround. So this weapon seemed to be better at short range, so... Actually, he's never going to be at short range. Blast him. Okay, he's going to be there. So I want to be... Here or actually, he's gonna go that way. I could actually be as I could be over here. Cut, cut across. Tosti! Oh, look at this! It's beautiful, destructive poetry. Right side crashed. No damage here. No damage here. Very minor damage here. Let's not go crazy. I don't want any friendly fire incidents. That should do. All right. Not bad at all. This is uh, the old uh, plan and go game. <clears throat> Line of sight control worked beautifully here. The uh, I don't know I don't know about the AI just yet, but it didn't seem to have much of uh, it didn't seem to have much understanding of me. Uh, line of sight controlling the crap out of it so that's uh, I don't know if that bodes well for the AI or not <laughs> um, in case you don't in case you've never if you if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched I have a video about Battletech called line of sight control but it applies to all games like this where a line of sight is important and uh, 
if you go back to the first turn where there was six units like this and I realize I sort of had like a wall of buildings here and I just managed to focus fire on one unit while blocking all the rest. That's line of sight control. This idea that you want as few of their units to have a shot as possible but as many of yours to have the same shot on the same target as possible. And uh... Yeah, I, I LOS controlled these guys to death. Almost at the cliff! Go, go, go! It's quite a jump. Into the forest! If anyone can hear me, we have people counting on us to retake what they've taken from us. Even if we are the last ones left. Where's the beam lancer? I didn't lose anything. I didn't even take any damage. Time threads are converging. There's nothing more we can do here. Is it finally time for some shut eye? No. Not today. Cool. <clears throat> Not quite sure how you do that with the beam gun, but pretty cool. By the time we realized what was happening, it was too late. We were at war. The border towns and cities were hit first. Communications cut, and residents chased from their homes. In their place, they erected military outposts that still watch us to this day. We fought back, and for a while, we even held down the capital. But we were outmaneuvered, and outnumbered, outgunned. Eventually, those of us who didn't surrender had to escape. For years, the government has operated in exile, along with the Home Guard, the remaining remnants of our country's military. They have been fighting tirelessly against impossible odds, but they can't do it alone. We answer to no one, nothing but the call. And now, after years of training, preparing, waiting, the Phantom Brigade is coming home. All right. Sounds cool to me. Knowledge. Okay. So this is the world map, which runs in real time, interestingly. And I 
I guess we'll be looking to liberate all of this. Okay, but that is going to have to be it for now because we are out of time. So, this looks like this might be a very interesting game. We'll just have to see how it pans out. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.